Welcome to another edition of Between Two Owls. I'm your host, Tom Price. With me today is Dr. Ilya Buenovich, and I'm just going to ask him a few questions. So thanks so much for coming on the show. Good afternoon. Thank you so much, Tom. So um, where did you grow up? I grew up in the Ukraine back during the times when it was part of the Soviet Union and came to the United States nearly 30 years ago. And did you have any uh, games or musical instruments that you played as a kid? Sure, played an acoustic guitar, as most of us did. Awesome, cool. And uh, is Shevchenko your favorite Ukrainian footballer? Of uh, yeah, latter days, I'd say uh, yes. There were some classics before him, but uh, sure, I'll go with Andriy Shevchenko. And did you have any, or do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother who lives near Boston. And what would your brother say about you? Well, uh, you probably wonder why I chose Shevchenko, and it's just a question today. But uh, <laughs> just call me his older brother, and uh, he, is, uh, he is way into dancing, actually. He is uh, teaching dancing, and so on. maybe you can relate, but he is a big-time dancer. So he'll probably call me a relatively uh, poor dancer, I suppose, compared to him. And what kind of dance does he do? He does mostly... Uh, salsa type oh cool latin american yeah that sort of thing teaches now on youtube at least the last six seven months so it's all uh, the youtube but he's doing well cool. so shout out to him in uh lynn mass and uh what did you want to be when you were growing up i wanted to be uh actually an explorer so i couldn't decide between archaeologist geologist geographer and then and I realized that most of the geography majors ended up in uh, middle school, high school teachers. And oh, I don't want to teach. So I went into geology. And right now I'm teaching and doing research. It's such a geo version of Indiana Jones when he did his exploration. And uh, then he came back to college. And then there were students, questions, and then back to uh, exploring. So a lot of active field research. And then uh, obviously teaching at uh, Temple. And so where did you go for your undergrad? Uh, I started undergraduate at the Odessa National University in Ukraine, and mm -hmm. I finished it in uh, Boston University. Okay. And is that where you also did your graduate work? Yes. I went straight for a PhD there, and I finished my doctorate there as well. I had a really uh, nice advisor, so I decided to stay with him. I especially since I only spent a couple years for undergraduate there, I felt like I can learn more from him. He is the world expert on one of the world world uh, experts on beaches right that's where we do our work we, on the beach that's our office so i just stayed with him and we still do a lot of co collaborative work so it's all working out pretty well who is that sorry it's uh duncan fitzgerald he's actually wrote a second edition of uh beaches and coasts it's an introductory pretty good intro book on everything you want to know about the beach as far as science is concerned cool so let's talk about Temple. So how long have you been at Temple University? Uh, just uh, over 11 years. And what do you like about your job? Uh, freedom, really freedom to, again, to do both teaching and then uh, get out there and do research. So even uh, when we have uh, our winter break, I'm off in the Bahamas. Fewer, fewer bugs and it's nice and cool there. So I do work both in the summer and in the winter times during the break, but that's where we get a lot of our field work done far away from Pennsylvania. Obviously we get things done around here uh, even during, uh, during the week or during weekends and during the semester, but for a week long or two week long research, we go far away places. And uh, for me, it's not just during the summer, but also during our winter, which in Brazil is their summer, right? So it works mm -hmm. out well for everybody, but it is freedom uh, to get out there and do, a, do some cool research. So tell me a little bit more about the research you're doing. So I, by training, I'm a sedimentologist. So I study sand basically in the beaches and then later on uh, lately in the dunes. So you can see the snowy owl right behind me, right? And it's sitting on the dunes, coastal dunes. So we've gone, there are a number of coastal dunes. I study the highest coastal dunes in Northern Europe and Lithuania. I studied uh, White Sands Dunes, the largest gypsum desert in the world in New Mexico. 
Uh, most people know it as a site of first nuclear testing, but there's just a wonderful uh, White Sands National Monument if anybody uh, is uh, making their way to New Mexico. It's a must see. Uh, I got to work with Bob Ballard, famous oceanographer, probably best known for discovery of the shipwreck of the Titanic. Well, I got to work with him in uh, Black and Mediterranean seas. So I actually got to go back to my hometown about a decade ago. Several years we were looking for ancient shipwrecks. We're talking about 3,000 year old Greek shipwrecks wow. preserved under the waters of the Black Sea. And then lately, uh, locally at least, where people can relate, we're looking at the interaction between animals and landscapes. And then there's a huge resurgence of uh, beaver in uh, Pennsylvania region. So we're studying along with students and some uh, state and local park uh, ecologists were studying the effects specifically on these small creeks around Pennsylvania. Pennypack, Cobbs Creek, and the Shamini mm -hmm. Creek. Mm -hmm. There's a few families doing quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of work. Cool. And what do you like most about Temple students? Uh, they're really uh, independent. I think a lot of them, especially first generation students, they're really uh, great uh, as far as field research as I found. And I can obviously give some um, indication of them in the classroom and uh, their participation, but as a field geologist, it's been really great that students are yearning to get out in the field, even as we we're closing down last spring. I had a couple of students do an individual study until last day, they wanted to get out there and do some uh, field work. So I think uh, I haven't taught in five or six other universities at Temple, maybe because it's an urban university and students while at school spending a lot of times in the city, but for geology, environmental science majors, who have a lot of even archeology span majors who take our class, engineering majors, they're really keen on getting out into the field. So I had never any problem finding students who wanna get out there, including this semester, who wanna get out in the field and do some research. Cool, that's awesome. So I'm gonna shift gears a little bit, ask you some stuff about your personal life. And as a reminder, you can just say pass if you don't wanna answer. Um, do you have a significant other? Yes. Yeah, my wife uh, yeah, works at the, in a medical laboratory now in New Jersey. So okay. essential worker, they're pretty busy, as you can imagine. And I know this, but do you have any children? Yes. My twin sons are now uh, Temple students. One is an uh, American history major. One is a business major. And I have a daughter in high school. Well, again, maybe after my brother likes to do a lot of dancing. Dancing, yes. He dances almost every day, uh, like five different styles. So That's awesome. And uh, are your sons still Chelsea fans? Wow. Yes. <laughs> Next yeah, question. I mean, maybe because Shevchenko was there for a little while, but yeah, we're still uh, Chelsea fans. But this year, I don't know what's going on. This year, the whole table is upside down already. So Correct. Uh, but uh, I guess we're still the Blues fans. What do you appreciate most in your friends? That's a fantastic question. It's loyalty. And I still have some friends back in Ukraine, but uh, loyalty and a lot of friends here as well. A lot of them from former Soviet Union, now from Belarus, Moldova, Uzbekistan, mm -hmm. Ukraine, Russia. But uh, yeah, just being friends, I guess, being loyal and always being there. You alluded to this earlier, but I'm going to ask you, who would play you in a movie about your life? What actor? Uh, I'll be mo modest. Yeah, modesty is first. So I'll say Harrison Ford. <laughs> we have the same birthday in July, same, you know, same day birthday. So I figure, you know, fit, fit this way. Plus similar uh, sort of style, at least based on his movie, Indiana Jones movie. So which the Indiana Jones character based after uh, one of the first paleontologists, American paleontologists in uh, who worked in Mongolia, so the fossil hunter. So it, it cool. all, you know, it all sort of uh, comes full circle. What's your favorite thing to do in Philly? In Philly, uh, well, now it's visiting, uh, visiting my sons who live near campus. But uh, I would say, mm -hmm. you know, driving through a center city, getting on the way to 95 to head, head north, head into the suburbia. So um, we're going to do what I call the rapid fire response. And so I'm just going to give you two things. Cool. And you so just... this was a warm up. Huh? Huh. Well, let's give it a shot. 
Tea or coffee? coffee. What? Tea or coffee? Do I like coffee? Tea or coffee? Oh, sorry. Coffee. No, no problem. Morning or night? Morning. Dark or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. Offense or defense? Offense. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Bert or Ernie? Pass. I don't know who they are. <laughs> half full or half empty? Half full. Hot or cold? Hot. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ilya. Well, I really enjoyed so having you on the show. Everybody stay healthy. Take care.